Good morning, good morning in the news this morning. I am freaking exhausted. Last night, I got woken up multiple times because someone decided to go on a high intensity rampage for no reason in the middle of the night. Who am I talking about? My cat, Knox. So, not only did I get waken up at 1 a.m. and in the middle of the night had to have an inner battle with myself to not go to the fridge to eat the pretzel M&Ms that I had bought the day before. Struggle. Why do I do this to myself? But I was then pushed through that, by the way, pushed through it, did not eat the M&Ms in a, in a tired, convincing, responsible conversation with myself. I said, Christine, you're tired. Roll over and go to bed. And I did. Then at 4 a.m., he had another conniption. So I fed him. I'm pointing over here because that's where his food bowl is. Fed him. Then decided I can't sleep. So moved myself into my living room where I then proceeded to watch three hours of YouTube videos. Now that it's 11-11, make a wish. And I feel like I have lived 48 hours in the past five hours. I am now creating this video. I don't think I've even announced what this video is about. So good morning, good morning in the news this morning. Today, I'm talking about what to do when you're a newbie at the gym. It will be a January 1, the year 2017, and there will be a lot of new faces in the gym, and you might be one of them, and I'm here to give you some tips on what will make this the smoothest transition for you so that you can be consistent and stay accountable to your goals. Best year ever to get fit, because everyone deserves a booty, because you deserve the body you want. I've been a gym newbie multiple times. Why? Well, I will answer you. So there was the time that I really was a gym newbie and I stepped into the gym for the very first time in my entire life at the age of 16. Then there was the time where I stepped into not a traditional... Then there was the time that I stepped into a really hardcore underground bodybuilding gym for the very first time. Then there was the time that I gained 25 pounds, became super depressed, not because I gained weight, but the depression hit and then I gained weight. And I was dealing with a lot of shit. And so then I stopped going to the gym for a good year and a half and had to go back and walk into the gym like I was a gym newbie with 25 more pounds on my body, feeling super uncomfortable with myself and had to start working out again. So I've been a gym newbie in a lot of different realms. So I get it. So now I wanna give you the tips that help me get over being a newbie and get to being a gym old bee. First tip, nobody cares what you look like. We all think that everyone is staring at us. We feel the eyes on us as we are walking through the gym, as we're going from machine to machine, as we're on the treadmill. Nobody's looking at you. Not because you're not worth looking at, but because they're usually all thinking the same thing about their own body. You're dealing with other people who are in the gym for, as a beginner, they're thinking the same thoughts you're thinking. Who's looking at me? I feel self-conscious. I don't, I feel uncomfortable. So they're only thinking about themselves. And on the other end, the people who are super fit, who are jacked and lean and are gym old bees, we're th just thinking about ourselves because usually we're checking ourselves out in the mirror or we're so into our workouts and so just mm, in the moment. Uh, we don't even care who's around us. We don't see anyone, not making eye contact with anyone. So. Don't worry about it. Go in there, do you, be you, be yourself, and walk in there like you own the place. Number two, keep it basic, especially if you are new to training and working out, new to exercising on your own. 
keep the movements basic. It will also make you feel a little bit more comfortable. So my tips are go grab some dumbbells, maybe a couple toys, <clears throat> things that you are comfortable doing. Go to a section of the gym that's not super popular, not super busy, and get your little corner going. Set up a little circuit for yourself. You can do a total body workout with even just a pair of dumbbells. You don't really need much equipment. So if something like stepping into the gym for the first time is super intimidating or you feel embarrassed or you just are afraid people are going to look at you and think like, why is she doing that? What is she doing? That's not a real exercise relax. Take yourself to a section of the gym that's out of the way, set up your circuit, and put yourself through it. Kick your butt. You'll feel good that you are doing it. You'll feel good that you're just not in like the middle of the highway, central location, center intersection of the gym where all the people are doing the things, and you'll get it done. Also, Keep your exercises simple. Do the things that you are familiar with. I'm gonna to get to this in a second, but know what exercises you're gonna do before you get to the gym so that you know how to do them, you know what you need, you are not wandering around the gym like your lost puppy in Adventureland. Also, get familiar with the gym and the layout. Get familiar with what is where. Where's the cardio section? Where are the free weights? Where is the cable machines? Where are all the machines? Where are the leg machines? Where are the squat racks? Where are the upper body work out machines? Where is the core section? So get used to where things are laid out in your gym so that again, you're not walking around like a lost goldfish in the Pacific Ocean. Number three. Wear something that you feel comfortable in. Wear something you feel like yourself in, that you feel comfortable and just, like you can go in there and not have to worry about what's hanging out, what's sticking out, what's happening, what's tucked in, what's not tucked in. Can you see through my leggings? Does my shirt come over my head? If you're comfortable wearing a sports bra, go ahead, go wear a sports bra. But if wearing that sports bra is gonna get in the way of your focus on your workout because you're thinking, who's looking at me? Do they think that I look fat in this? Don't wear it. You wanna be as focused on your workout and what you are there to do without any other distractions. If you're comfortable wearing a t-shirt, wear a t-shirt, who cares? Or if you feel like you're gonna feel confident wearing a really cute outfit, go get yourself a really cute outfit. Number four make or go find an awesome music playlist that you can just plug into, zone out to, that's just gonna motivate you to just kick your ass. Sometimes for me, this is songs that I used to listen to in high school. So like 90s, late 90s, the most random, random stuff, but stuff that I would listen to like dancing in my car, coming home from high school with my best friends and just going crazy, I put that on and that gives me my best workouts ever. Otherwise, go on Spotify, go on whatever you're using, Pandora, and look for workout playlists, motivational playlists, hardcore rock. Listen, I don't like heavy metal, but sometimes a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Pop in that heavy metal and just lift heavy. Number five, go prepared. Understand what you're gonna do before you even step into the gym. This might also help motivate you when you are thinking about going. I know personally when I think about an exercise or I watch a workout of someone, it gets me really motivated to go and work myself out. I'm like, ooh yeah, that girl's like lifting and her shoulders are getting such a pump and look at the veins and like, ooh yeah, I wanna do that. So that gets me excited, like almost as a pre-workout. So know what you're going to do. If that means you go to bodybuilding.com and you look up a free workout there, if that means you go to my website and you go to my How to Lift Basics program and you watch the video and you see the workout, fine, cool. If you're like, nope, I'm gonna make it up on my own, but I know I'm gonna do squats and push-ups and bicep curls and uh, core work, whatever. Know what you're gonna do before you get there so you're not wandering around thinking and delaying yourself and demotivating yourself because 
you realize that you don't know what the heck to do when you get there. Hey, we've all been there. We've all been at the gym where we feel like, I don't know what to do, I'm walking around, I'm looking at things, I don't know what I want to do next, I feel like everyone's staring at me because I look like I don't know what I'm doing, and now I have to fake something because I don't want people to think I don't know what I'm doing, but I just don't know what I want to work out yet, and now I feel weird because people think I don't know how to use a dumbbell. If you're afraid that you're gonna look silly for doing some of these exercises, take a look around because pretty much everyone is doing something that looks ridiculous if you took that movement outside of the gym. Hi, have you seen what a fire hydrant or a clam exercise looks like? Yeah. Doesn't matter, we've all been there. Just do you and be confident. And that leads me to my last and final tip, number six, confidence. If you don't have it, fake it. Because I'm telling you, almost everyone else around you is also faking it. I can't tell you the amount of times I've gone into a gym and I will try a new movement or a new machine and I feel like a baby ostrich trying to walk for the first time. I literally I'm trying to like contort my body into something weird or I'm doing it, doesn't feel like I'm lifting the right stuff and I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm a gym old bee and I do know what I'm doing. Or sometimes I try a new weird exercise that someone does on a machine that's not really meant for that exercise. You know what I'm talking about, like doing glute kickbacks on the leg extension something like that and so you do it for the first time and you're like trying to maneuver your body into it and it just feels weird it looks weird honestly you don't give honestly if you care enough about committing to growing that booty you don't care because you're like if this exercise once I get it right it's gonna grow my booty I don't care if I look stupid because I'm gonna have a good booty that's all I got for my tips for getting into the gym as a newbie, as a beginner, learning to lift weights for the first time or doing it alone for the first time. We've all been there. We've all had to take that step of feeling uncomfortable and feeling silly and feeling embarrassed and feeling totally out of our comfort zone and just say, F it, because I want a hot body. I want myself to look like this. I want to get the mental benefits and I want to get to that point. Well, you gotta push past all the negative feelings and just keep going and just keep doing it because I promise you, it gets more comfortable, it gets easier, it gets fun, it gets exciting, and then you try new and crazy things that you never thought you'd try before and you are, before you know it, you're lifting small cars over your head. So, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked even one of my tips, give it a thumbs up and subscribe comment below with what you tried, if you tried anything, if you think I'm crazy, something, and now you are in love with the gym. Yeah, and if you're not following me on the Instagrams, I invite you to follow me because I post cool videos and different selfies and just more pictures of my red hair on there. So if you wanna see more pictures of my red hair, then I would invite you to go on Instagram. If you don't, that's cool too. And just, you know, stay with me here on YouTube. So more videos coming at you about workouts and fitness and nutrition and mental health and life and knocks and um, food and yeah, that's all I got. So have an amazing, amazing day. Thank you. Bye.